Hey, how's it going? It's Spencer from Great Capital. I want to take a little bit of time to talk about real estate investment trusts or REITs and how they compare to investing with Great Capital. So REITs were created in the 1960s by the IRS to allow the public easier access to invest in companies whose primary purpose is to invest in real estate assets, whether it's equity into real property or mortgages that back those real estate investments. 90% of all the income generated through a REIT has to be distributed to its shareholders in the form of dividends. While that sounds great and real and REITs do have a lot of different advantages, there's a little bit more to it that you have to understand before deciding that REITs are the preferred investment vehicle for you when you want to diversify into real estate. So let's talk about some of the advantages that REITs have. The real three advantages are liquidity, diversification, and low barrier to entry. So for liquidity, unlike typical real estate investments where you can't really get your capital out of an investment until you sell the property or you refinance, when you buy a share of a REIT, it's just like buying a share of a stock of a public company. Just buy through a brokerage, you can buy or sell a share instantaneously. Diversification is another great advantage that REITs have over the typical just private investment when you're investing in one particular asset. Usually when you invest in a REIT, you're investing in an entire basket of different properties or assets that help diversify and spread risk amongst many different investments. Another advantage REITs have is the low barrier to entry. Just like you can buy a single stock for you know, $10, $50, $100, you can do the same thing with a share of a REIT. Some REITs are traded as low as $20, $30, $40, $50. $50. Some private REITs can also have higher minimums but in general, the barrier to entry is much lower than buying an actual piece of real estate that could cost hundreds of thousands, millions, or even hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay, let's talk about some of the disadvantages that REITs have. So there's four main disadvantages that we want to talk about. Over-diversification, volatility, lack of tax benefits, and indirect investments. So let's talk about over-diversification. Now, it's true, diversification itself is a great investing principle that everyone should adhere to to a certain degree, but at some point you start getting diminishing returns as you're being over, over diversified. So a REIT can be investing in many dozens of different properties. And so what ends up happening is you end up getting the benchmark return or kind of the average return of the real estate sector. And it's hard to make strategic investment decisions to allow you to achieve outside returns or alpha in a given market. One of the biggest disadvantages of investing in REITs are the same reason why so many people just don't like investing in the stock market in general. It's because you're investing in paper assets that are fluctu- that fluctuate by market forces and not necessarily linked as closely to the fair market value of the underlying asset. If you invest privately um, into a real estate investment, the price of that real estate investment is going to be linked to the value of that property and the cash flow that it produces. However, if you're investing in a REIT, the price of that underlying asset could just be linked to market sediment. And all of a sudden, if there's a market sell-off, you're, the value of that REIT can diminish significantly. So while liquidity can be an advantage to allow you to get in and get out of a particular investment, on the flip side, that liquidity can lead to huge price fluctuations and can really bear a lot of risk to a particular investor when you're investing in a particular REIT. So one of the benefits and the reasons why people invest into real estate in general are for all the tax benefits that exist. But unfortunately, when you invest in a REIT, those tax benefits do not pass through to the individual investor through dividends. Um, so there's no depreciation pass through, there's no loss carry forward, um, there's no 1031 or like kind exchange. So, you know, you're really just investing for those dividends and hoping that the price of that REIT is going to go up in the future. So the last disadvantage of investing in a REIT is you're not really investing into a real asset. You're, inv- you're investing into a paper asset. Really, you're just investing into a company that operates in the real estate sector. You're not actually buying real estate. So you don't get to share in all the benefits of owning real estate. So let's talk about all the advantages there are of investing through great capital versus investing with a REIT. First of all, you're gonna get choice. The ability to build your own customized, tailored portfolio of cash flowing assets versus just buying whatever the REIT is currently investing in. Second, you're getting all the tax benefits of directly owning real estate itself, unlike a REIT where you're not getting any of those tax benefits. The third is transparency and information. 
unlike just working with a large public company, you're working with a core group of executives and investment experts who are gonna work with you to help you tailor your own strategy. And the last piece is our expertise and guidance. Again, we're gonna work with you through the entire process, helping you diversify your investments, creating your own strategy, and with the help to execute on that strategy to accomplish whatever your investment goals are. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Great Capital is a commercial real estate investment and asset management firm where we focus on stabilized cash flowing assets, particularly multifamily apartments. We feel like we've developed the absolute best investment vehicle to be able to deploy capital into commercial real estate. So we'd love for you to come and check us out. Go to greatcapitalllc.com and we put out a weekly report that you can sign up for when you go to the website where we deliver uh, the most up-to-date research reports, articles, data, and our own blog posts to really keep you up to date. Because even if you're really following this stuff, I guarantee that you're missing something and we put in countless hours to be able to bring you the most up-to-date and important information to help you make a better investment decision. So go check out our website, like this video, and in general, just get in touch with us because we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. I'm Spencer Gray from Great Capital. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.